thing? You need a regular pencil. All right, so using a regular pencil, I'm going to make a, a really wide C and a backwards C. So it should look. Which way? Yeah, a regular C and a backwards C. It looks like a tree. Yep, or like a tree trunk, something like that. So that's how I draw my So like this, Mr. Roger? I would say make it a little thicker. Sure. Yep. It will look cooler if you make it a little thicker. Could you do it for me? No. All right, so the next step is you're going to draw a straight line through the middle. All right, so it almost looks like an H. Looks like a really, really uh, like a curvy H. All right. So once you get the curvy H, yep. Once you get the curvy H on the top of the the straight line, you're gonna put like rainbow lines. I like so which way do we do it? So again, rainbow lines for above that center line for the H until you get to the top of the H, like you know legs or whatever you call them. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing underneath, but they're going to be smiley face lines. And you want to make them really cut, kind of really smiley facey and really frowny facey or rainbowy, yeah, which that'll make it look way more 3D than if it's just kind of straight lines going across. So we have our H, we have rainbowy lines on top. Smiley face lines on the bottom. All right, next step, I'm gonna make an. I'm gonna make an ellipse on the top and the bottom. It's pretty much a squished circle. Um, you think football, uh, I don't know, something like that. Uh, so that's gonna come out like this and curve around. Now I'm pressing lightly so that I can erase. So, so pretty much all of this, you want to be pressing lightly with your regular pencil. Like this big? Like this thing? Yep, that looks good. Okay, and I'm going to do it so it's almost like it should look like it's resting on a plate. Uh, do you want me to do two? Okay. One? Now you're going to do the same thing on the top. Wait, wait, slow down, slow down. So the brown thing? So it's going to look like a hoop going around the bottom. And then I'll have a hoop going around the top. like that. Alright, so we got a hoop on one side, a hoop on the other. Got some hoops. Alright, so the next step, uh, you gotta do the hoops. How do I do the hoops? It'll make it look like a hoop going around the bottom and the top. Or a football. See how the football shape, but I don't do the top of the football shape because you can't see it. Yeah, burrs. Now, can you do it for the top? And you do it for the top, same deal. Football shape on the top. All right, so now you just build them out. I'm gonna put a straight line going across in the center of the, the vortex thingy. So you got, a, basically it divides the paper in half all the way. It divides the paper in half. Divides the paper in half. All right, so now I'm gonna start making more hoopy football deals. Going around. Let's go for the top. Sure. It's a little wonky, but that's fine. Uh, and so I'm just going to add uh, hoops and you get bigger and bigger. And again, press lightly so you can erase any mistakes. Now, this is the part that gets kind of confusing. When you get off the to where the lines are going off the paper, you just go around, pretend like like you could even draw on the table if you wanted to. Uh, it should look like the the circle thingy's got cut off because there's no paper left. I like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna continue up here. And at this point, they're just rainbow lines going up. And once you get kind of closer to the, sure. Once you get kind of closer to the center line, they should flatten out a little bit. And I'll do the same thing up here. You could even flip your paper upside down 
and do the same thing that you just did it might be less confusing so I got another football shape going around another football shape going around I ran off the paper gotta continue pretend like I have a giant piece of paper or you can draw on the table it's okay Yep. Uh, and again, once you get close to that center line, you kind of flatten them out a little bit. Alright. Alright, so once you get this, you're pretty much all set to, to switch over to colored pencils. Uh, to be the least confusing, I'm going to start with the black. So what I'm going to do is make some scribbly lines. Now when we did the, uh, the this thing, right? You can see it goes to dark, to color, to light, color, to dark again. We're doing the exact same thing. So this is going to go light, or dark, the color, light, color, dark again. So I can just go through each one and put a little mark with the dark area to just make sure I understand that that's what so we're on doing. The yep, so on the outsides of the tube thing, you want to skip one. So skip, skip one and then fill in. And then skip one and fill in. And make sure when you're filling in, you go around the rectangle. Do you want to be dark? Or... No, I'm just lightly scribbling it in so that I know where to do this. And again, follow the, tr the, the rectangle. Oh, yeah. It's like a curvy rectangle. Now you want to be using the black colored pencil for sure because the regular pencil smears and makes a mess. It also doesn't mix well with the colored pencil. So right now I'm using a black colored pencil. You want to be using that. Yeah, I just pulled up my black. Okay, so I'm going around. And again, it's like a curved rectangle like we used. So your lines should also kind of curve around. Focus. We'll focus just on. Oh, no! Just on. We'll focus just on the tubey part for now. I'll be. I'll be okay. Focus on just the tube, and then we'll work our way out later. All right. So I've got my tubey area. I know where I'm going to be uh, putting the color and the shade and stuff. So I'll swap over to the color I'm going to be using. I'm going to choose this metallic -y green color. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go over the black area, and I'm also going to extend it out to almost the center of the tubey thing. Alright, so it's like that. So it should uh, be darker, and then it gets lighter, and then we stop. And I can go to the other side and do the same thing. So it should be darker, and it gets lighter, and then it stops. So you'll have a white area in the center. Sweet! Yeah, that's right. Good job. What's up? It's up to you, whatever color you want. Yeah, but we have the color on the black, right? Yeah, so you start, start on the black area, and then work your way over and almost to the center and we're pressing lightly on this remember we were making like layers so it goes like dark uh, the darks and the lights blend together so you gotta start out pressing lightly said black and I picked up the black colored pencil. Mother? Sure. Fill out this pass. I'll sign it for you. Yeah, fill it out. Okay, and again I'm coloring, I'm following the line, the, the two lines. So it should look like that rectangle we colored uh, yesterday and the day before and the day before. Um, so you're going across the shape. All right, I'm going to keep working my way up to... Again, you want to leave 
uh, a little space open in the center. Yep, so you're overlapping, you're making sure you color on the black area, and then also some of the area where there's no black. So you see the regular color, and then it gets darker. It's uh, shaded, so you get a shade. Alright. Yep, and uh, we could, you could choose to uh, later go back and color the ones nope. you skipped. But it kind of looks cool just having it like a like a, a pattern, a pattern of, of empty space and then filled space. Onward. All right, so, so again, we could go back if you wanted to instead of doing the, the one color like I am and, and doing a pattern of clean, clear and then color. You could do uh, Kind of like what I did here, where you do like blue and then green and blue and green. Yeah. If you want to, that's completely up to you. This is your artwork. Okay, so I got my tube kind of all set with the first round of coloring. So I'm going to go back in and use the black to darken up all the lines. So you can see that's me pressing hard with the black. Like, see, see how much darker that is? Now, I'm going to start pressing hard and that's going to blend the black color pencil in with the, uh, pencil. The, other, the color pencil that I chose. And I'm going to keep following down this line. So I'm basically uh, outlining or going over my pencil lines again. So you see the difference how much that stands out as opposed to when I was going really lightly. Uh, if you're choosing to use Sharpie for yours, uh, the Sharpie is going to be the last step. Uh, the reason for that is the Sharpie is a really thick and dark line, and it'll be able to hide some of your mistakes if you have any. So let's say you, like over here, I colored outside the boundary. If I used a Sharpie, that would just be covered up by the Sharpie line. So. It's a, if you're going to do Sharpie, you always do it at the end. So I'm just following this line uh, all the way down on this side. But you can do it in any order you want. I just, this is kind of going in a system. So I'm just going through. And eventually I, I would outline the pencil lines everywhere. But for right now, I'm just following this line down. And again, if you wanted to do Sharpie, that would be the last final step uh, to make sure. Like right here, I kind of messed up a little bit. Sharpie. Yeah. Sharpie would be uh, taking care of all the little mistakes. So you want to take care of the mistakes at the end. All right, keep going down. Um, darkening everything. Should I darken the black on this side? Or... Yep. I already did it. Uh, so what I'll do, rather than go over to the next one, I'm going to do uh, another round of gold. So I'm going to press really hard where this blends together. You can see the difference. Oh, I'll zoom in close. Right there. So you can see this is kind of kind of messy. I'm going to press really hard with the gold right here, and it should smooth. Yeah, you can see that really well. And it smooths out any of the, like, the white sort of bumpy stuff. Like that's, really hard. that's the goal, yeah. Now you don't want to break the, the, the lead stuff, but you do want it to blend together. On the one side that we so you can see all the, the white spots. Yeah, so we do on the Now again, if you're working all the way across, you're welcome to do that. Uh, I'm just focusing on this one side just to go through the steps a little quicker. If it, I'm sure no one wants to watch me do this entire thing in real time. I mean, if it helps you, then... But if it helps you, I'll, I'll be glad to continue with I this just, demonstration. I have no idea what I've made now. That's cool. I'm just following you, and I yep. just... 
Well, I have done this quite a few times. All right, so uh, the next step is I'm going to start using white. I'm going to use that to blend the center. So I'll just start at the top. Here you go, just take mine. I'm going to just draw a turkey now. Well, swap without. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so uh, same deal here, but the opposite. So I smoothed out the transition here. I want to smooth out the transition to where it gets to um, the lighter. And so I'm going to have to press hard with the white, and then I'm going to back go back over it with the gold, or what, you know whatever color you happen to be using. And so that should give you a nice smooth transition. Oh, that looks nice. Nice smooth transition. All right, and we can just go down. So I'll do the white. Yep, perfect. So I'll do the white. Press really hard, and then go over with the color I chose lightly just to blend them together. Uh, nice and smooth transition. Okay, you could try erasing, it's not a big deal. Uh, at the end of this, you'll probably, uh, a lot of the mistakes that you might see now won't even be visible because there's going to be so much going on yeah. when we're finished. So, so no worries if you make a little mistake, it's not a big deal. This is going to be a long video. I'm going to do white all the way down. This is my uh, Ah! That's what happens when you press too hard. Yeah, I was rushing. Press too hard. And it broke. And it broke. Alright. Yeah, I had a student ask me how my artwork looks so good. And it's usually, not, I, I, I would disagree that it, I think it looks okay. But usually, usually, yep. Usually the way that you can make your artwork look better is to take your time with it. So if I was pressing really hard with the color pencil and the lead kept breaking, Okay, now again, the Sharpie is the final step after you're fully done yeah, the know. entire project. I'm done it. Which means including the background, which we haven't started yet. What do we do with the background? The same thing? Now, I'm going to say just, uh, I won't do this side, I'll do this side, and I'll start moving on to the background. So I'll go back to the black one, and I'm going to follow that pattern. So I skip this one, I'm going to do this one. Now I'm going to give a little scribble right here, like that. Then I'm going to skip. I'm going to do another one. Light scribble. And again, I'm going across. Yep, going across slightly. The vortex one. It's. Uh, for those of you who are not sure what I'm doing, if you go uh, to the slideshow where uh, you can have I use, a can I use sure uh, where you have a chance to choose what you're doing, this is one of the options. Uh, this is the one that's titled Vortex. So it kind of looks like a like you're in a some sort of vortex, which is why it's called Vortex. Yeah going through a portal or something and I got down to the bottom and it looks like it worked out yours you might have an extra line which you could just fill in pretend one of the lines aren't there if it doesn't work out and then I'm just gonna follow the pattern so over here on the other side I'll be filling it in and I'll just keep going up 
going across. They fill in. Again, if, if your pattern gets a little, you know, it doesn't go quite right, like it looks like I did something wrong here. I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one goes here. And I'm just gonna add another one. All right, people, we are done at